Somebody give Austin a sentence. Adam. Uh, Clay Plum explains in her article that there are faults in the current college student loan program. Faults in the current. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about punctuation. What we're worried about right now is sentence structure, and the words are intact, so that's just fine. Uh, thank you, Adam. You want to try it? Yeah. Yes, the name of the author of the article. Okay. So what is the complete subject? Mike, you want to try it? What's the complete predicate? That's correct. Everything else. What's the simple predicate? Explains. Do you see that Adam's sentence is author explains? And actually, Adam has probably followed my guideline saying use the author and use a clear verb like explains or develops or constructs. That's a powerful sentence. Author does this. And then what is the author explaining? Well, all that's thrown into the predicate. We'll talk about diagrams of that later. But Cleveland explains. That's the basic statement. Next. You can make them up or draw them from what you've got there. Go ahead, Allie. Scream with passion for their team. As they cross pathways where other kids collide. This one presents an interesting little difficulty. Uh, let's. Very good, Allie. Allie's identified that there are actually there's more than one pairing because this is not a simple sentence. Do you know what kind of sentence this is? Close, complex. It's a complex sentence. You'll understand the difference between those two later. But it's a complex sentence. So Ali has identified for you that there are actually two subject predicate pairings. You want to try the first one, Jacob? Uh, su subject. Subject, predicate predicate subject, predicate subject first. What's the subject that you uh, identify? The crowds at both high schools. That's correct. And what is the simple subject there? Crowds. Correct. What's the, um, the predicate? Simple. This word as, you'll learn later, is a subordinating conjunction. And it's a conjunction that joins two entire sentences. So ignore this right now. Don't worry about it. And let's look at the second su <coughs> subject predicate pairing. Jessica, try it. Very good. And what is the verb in that case? Yeah. Correct. Hey, there we go. Let me show you how you diagram this. You've got two sentences. What do you need? Two baselines. Uh, okay. There you go. Is there more? Yeah, there's a lot more. We have to join those two in a certain way. We, um, we have to figure out all the rest of the words. That as, that subordinating conjunction, must be figured into the diagram. However, we can worry about all that later. What we're doing right now is identifying subject and predicate. And Allie, exceptionally good job, identified that you've got two. So don't forget that some sentences are actually two or more sentences joined together. And now he's correctly identified. All the ones that you had in your exercises for the Warners were simples. 
even though they looked like they were long and complicated, they wrote them as simple sentences. And these sentences, while helpful, are not exactly very exciting. Make some up. Give me a sentence. Make one up. Adam. The dog jumped off the Sears tower. Nice. <laughs> That's better. That's better. The dog jumped off the Sears tower. Nice. Oh. Ellie, subject. Sim simple. And simple predicate. Oh, well, simple subject is dog, correct. What's simple predicate? Dog. That is correct. Oh, we can get a lot more interesting than that. Third period, we're writing sentences about Sam Chang and me frolicking through the forest <laughs> looking, for, <laughs> looking for pixie fairies. Um, Cookie Monster was eating things. Girls next door were eating other girls on the other side. It, it was just all disturbing and uh, rather creative. So come on, give me another sentence. Laurel. The monkey learned how to play the violin. The monkey learned how to play the violin. Nice. OK, Laurel, do your own sentence. What's the uh, simple subject? Uh, the monkey. Simple is just oh, monkey, okay. correct. And what's the simple predicate? Learn. Correct. Oh, these are too easy. You know what I want? I want a compound subject or a compound predicate. Don't give me both right now, but give me one or the other. Adam, you've already given me one, although I'll entertain yours in a moment. Ashley. OK, the zombie monkey ate Mr. Clarkson's head. Good, good. However, it's still single, single. Um, what is the, Ashley, do your own sentence. What is the uh, simple subject? Monkey. monkey. And what is the simple predicate? Monkey. Make him do something else. The monkey zombie ate Mr. Clarkson's head and, finish the sentence. Aaron. Help her out. What? And got sick. Oh, come on. Aaron, give me something better than that. And enjoyed it with a side of. And enjoyed it with a side of. Oh. <laughs> OK, OK. Uh, eliminate one of those ands, please. Let's eliminate one of those ands, please. What are you doing? All right, nice. Now, we now have a compound predicate. We don't have a compound subject. We have a compound predicate, which means we have two verbs, eight, and what's the other verb? Enjoyed, correct. So this presents a difficulty. Some of you might say, oh, we should do it like this, right? Um, you used a slash in your multiple choice answer, so shouldn't we do it like that? Uh-uh. Why? Because that's not very easy for us to diagram further structures that we need to diagram. So I'll show you how to do this. <coughs> 